Hi, I'm Bob Berg. I'd like to show you our hafting resin. This is one of the exciting new products from Thunderbird at Lattel. It, uh, it's glue, basically. It's uh, made from uh, things like pine resin. Uh, we use a little bit of beeswax in it, and there's several other ingredients, which I uh, don't tell anybody what they are, but they're all natural, and they're all things that you can get kind of around the house. Um, I figured out how to make it work really well. It's really strong. It's almost epoxy strong, and it's very, very easy to use. It comes in these little packages. There's two little cubes in each package. There's about 20 grams of glue in each of the two cubes, so they add up to about 40 grams altogether. And uh, it melts at about 180 degrees. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to heat this stuff up so it's a little bit warmer. I want to get this going. So when you use this glue, you need water to wet your hands to, to use as a glue resist. Um, if you touch it with your, the, with your dry skin, it'll stick to you. And I also like to have an applicating stick. It can be anything. I just broke a stick off that tree over there. And uh, anyway, what, what I'd like to do is uh, put a, a I'm going to put this handle on a, on a knife blade. I chose one here earlier. Here's a uh, flint blade that I made a few days ago. It fits in this handle nicely, but I kind of want to make it permanent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it with a our hafting resin. I'm going to dip the, the handle in the glue over here. Okay, so I get I have a generous amount of glue on there. I'll let it kind of drizzle down. I'll take a, my, my little applicator stick and make sure I have some applied on, on the inside of the stick. See the little little V there. So I'm, I'm keeping the, the handle warm down here by the fire and I'm dipping the glue on the back end of my knife blade, my flint knife blade, okay? And then I simply slide them together like that. And I'm going to use this applicator stick and I'm, I dip a little bit of glue on there, let the drips fall in the pot. And I'm going to just sort of weld that, that point onto the stick. Just that little drip at a time. I guess it's called a fillet when you fill the space between the, the blade and the handle. If you screw up, it, you can heat it and take it off and start all over again. No problem, no stress. Get it on there. So the, this part here is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm going to wet my hands with this little pot of water here. And I'm going to just tool this as if it's putty, squeeze it, shape it the way I want it, move it around a little bit. My hands are have a little bit of water on them, and I'm going to just form the, the glue. It's in a plastic stage right now. It's not liquid, but it's not solid yet either and you can move it around and you can shape it and get it just like you want it. You can you can bend the at this point you could bend the knife blade back and forth to get it to where you want it so it's nice and straight. This stuff hardens up to almost epoxy hard. It'll be on there really tightly when I'm done. There's no, ha no, no cordage at all used in this joint. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on, on the butt end of it. And the reason I do that, usually, is so that you have a little bit of extra glue around in case you need to make a repair in the field. You can scrape that glue off and, and use it. I'll, I'll put it on a couple times so I'll let it cool down in the water. Get the, 
the drips off it. It also gives it a little bit of decoration. It makes it look good. And so there's my blade almost finished. Th this is a little bit rough here. I don't like the how, how lumpy that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it in the fire. Just heat it a little bit in the fire. Nice and gently. I'm going to Wet my finger and move a little bit of the glue around. You can never do this with epoxy. You couldn't. You, you wouldn't want to stick your finger into your work with epoxy because it's poison. This stuff here, you could probably take a little bit of it and stick it in your mouth and chew it like gum if you wanted to. Uh, I. Uh, I like the way that. You can move it around and manipulate it and make it do what you want it to do. Get it exactly the way you want it to look. And when it hardens up, it's beautiful. That's pretty much done, except for it's got a cool. It's a nice little, nice little blade. There's the handle, the butt of it. Um, here's the here's the glue in the little pot right here. I'm going to wet my hands so I don't burn my fingers. But I'll take this away from the fire, set it down here. When it hardens, I can put that in into a my backpack or something like that. I can carry it around. the The glue inside the pot will preserve the pot. I I make these little. Uh, little clay pots. You don't need to have little clay pots to melt your glue, but it just seems like the traditional thing to do to use little, little clay pots and uh, do it near a fire. But you can heat the, you can heat the, the glue with uh, a gas torch or whatever. And it's, it's very, very usable. It's reusable. If this came apart, I could just heat it up and stick it back together again. Another thing you can do with this glue is you can glue your pottery back together with it. Here's a pot that has a crack in it right here. You can hear it. It's not very together. So I'm going to take the glue. I'm going to heat the pot a little bit in the fire. And then I'm going to use the applicator to put the glue into the crack. I'm kind of squeezing it in, in with the applicator. I'm going to push it through with my thumb. Already the pot is, is more consolidated than it was. So I'm going to put, it, put some glue on the outside. See, see how you can weld with it? It just kind of, I'm tapping it to drive the glue into the crack. And of course, you know, with, with gluing a pot like this, you're not done when you have the glue applied. Um, you have to drill holes on e each, either side of the crack and then uh, tie it together with string but this will will hold the glue the pot together plus it makes it waterproof another thing you can do with the glue is you can you can put it in the into the pot and heat the pot up and make the pot waterproof a lot of these clay pots are not waterproof i'm just heating this up to so I can tool the glue a little bit, just make it come out real nice and smooth. So that's pretty good on the outside there. So there we have our pot, and you can hear 
that, the, that it's together. You can hear it ringing now. So that glue basically glued that, mended that pot back together again. Um, I think that's kind of neat that <laughs> you can re-glue a clay pot that's been cracked. This cracked in firing, you know, so it's always nice to have a be able to save a pot that didn't quite fire right, you know. There we have it. A couple things glued with uh, Thunderbird at Lattle's hafting resin. If you'd like some of this, uh, be sure to uh, either check us out on the on the web at www.thunderbirdatlattle.com or you can call us at 1-800-836-4520.